Jesus is always in the business of moving someone from underdog to victory. This man was about as big of an underdog as you can be. 38 years he suffered. 38 years he was not a productive member of society. For 38 years he had to depend on others constantly just to stay alive. And now he sits and he sees Jesus and in this moment where he says, sir, I'm under you. I'm under who you are. In that moment he says that, then all of a sudden Jesus says, listen, I'm not gonna put you in the pool, but what I am gonna say is get up, walk, roll up your mat, and go. What an incredible moment for this man. For some of you, you need to hear that today because what you need to understand is you are trying so hard to make things happen. You're praying, but when you're praying, you're telling Jesus what to do. I'm guilty of this. I know it. I do it too. I tell Jesus, hey, when you, you know, if you could step into my circumstance and you can make this happen and make that happen, and make, how about what if we didn't pray that? What if instead we just said, we just said, I trust you. That's kind of what Mackenzie did in that story. She had been praying for so long that, that she wanted a specific outcome and she was almost praying to that outcome. And instead, in this women's retreat, she has this moment where, where God just says, no, chase me and let me do it. And when, he, when she does, all of a sudden, it, it, just amazingly, even as you hear her talk about driving to the next appointment with the assumption that because she hadn't been praying for that outcome or she hadn't been seeing that outcome, she's assuming that surgery is in the works. But instead, as she's prayed and trusted God with it, the Holy Spirit says, don't put words in my mouth. I think Jesus in this moment says to this man at the pool, don't put words in my mouth. Don't tell me what to do. Just put yourself under me and trust me. Just believe in me. And when you do, everything changes.